Welcome back to Time with God series, Joyce Meyer's Everyday Life Bible Journey for Busy Moms. I'm Winnie Michelle Thompson, and we are diving into Genesis chapter 39. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the captain and chief executioner of the royal guard, an Egyptian, brought him from the Ishmaelites, who had brought him down there. But the Lord was with Joseph, and he, though a slave, was a successful and prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to flourish and succeed in his hand. Verse 4. So Joseph pleased Potiphar and found favor in his sight. And he served him and his master made him supervisor over his house and put all that he had in his charge. Verse 5. From the time that he had made him supervisor in his house and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the Lord's blessing was on all that he had in the house and in the field. And Potiphar left all that he had in Joseph's charge and paid no attention to anything he had except the food he ate. Now Joseph was an attractive person and fine looking. Then after a time, his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and she said, lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, See here with me in the house. My master has concern about nothing. He has put all that he has in my care. He is not greater in this house than I am, nor has he kept anything from me except you, for you are his wife. How then can I do this great evil and sin against God? Verse 10, she spoke to Joseph day after day, but he did not listen to her, to lie with her or to be with her. Then it happened about this time that Joseph went into the house to attend to his duties, and none of the men of the house were indoors. And she called him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand, and fled and got out of the house. Verse 13, And when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and had fled away, she called to the men of her household and said to them, Behold, he, your master, has brought in a Hebrew to us to mock and insult us. He came in where I was to lie with me. And I screamed at the top of my voice. Verse 15. And when he heard me screaming and crying, he left his garment with me and fled and got out of the house. And she laid up his garment by her until his master came home. Then she told him the same story, saying, The Hebrew servant whom you brought among us came to me to mock and insult me. And when I screamed and cried, he left his garment with me and fled out of the house. And when Joseph's master heard the words of his wife, saying to him, This is the way your servant treated me. His wrath was kindled. Verse 20. And Joseph's master took him and put him in the prison, a place where the state prisoners were confined. So he was there in the prison. 
But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and loving kindness and gave him favor in the sight of the warden of the prison. And the warden of the prison committed to Joseph care all the prisoners who were in the prison. And whatsoever was done there, he was in charge of it. Verse 23. The prison warden paid no attention to anything that was in Joseph's charge. For the Lord was with him and made whatever he did to prosper. And that is the end of Genesis chapter 39.